Should I buy or sell metamaterials? The report for metamaterials was first published on our website Wednesday, November 23, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since October 21, 2022, our system ranks metamaterials as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of minus 0.575. During this period the stock has outperformed our expectations with a gain 105.83% since we first told you to buy metamaterials 24 days ago. This is an average return of 4.41% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for metamaterials our last headline reads, high volatility in metamaterials stock price on Wednesday which ended trading at $1.83. The metamaterials stock price fell by minus 11.17% on the last day, Wednesday, November 23, 2022, from $2.06 to $1.83. It has now fallen three days in a row. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 14.32% from a day low at $1.76 to a day high of $2.01. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a 31.18% gain for the last two weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 3 million shares and in total, 16 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $28.51 million. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $4.27, and the lowest price was $0.630. Right now the price is 57.14%, or $2.44, below 52-week high and 91.59%, or $19.93, below all-time high June 21, 2021 the price hit $21.76. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 84.54% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 21.89% and 128.61%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 45.43% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 89.15% and minus 33.80%. This equals a price between $0.199 and $1.21 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Metamaterials stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give P-E ratio a buy and price to book a buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been found for metamaterials. The metamaterials stock holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average there is a general buy signal in the stock giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $1.88. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $1.25. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, November 21, 2022, and so far it has fallen minus 18.11%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, sell signal 3 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 44 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 33 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 31 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, buy signal 34 days ago. 
the long-term moving average, by signal 22 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 18 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, risk and stop loss for meta materials. On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $1.68 and $1.62. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, meta materials find support just below today's level at $1.68. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $1.62 and $1.46. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.252 between high and low, or 14.32%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 13.5%. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Meta Materials meets first resistance at $1.87. If you do not hold Meta Materials shares, you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock, this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn, Meta Materials finds first level of support at $1.68, and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebound upwards. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Meta Materials is buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On November 16, 2022, Harding John R made an inside buy of 126,000 of common stock. On November 11, 2022, Rice Kenneth LJR made an inside buy of 68,830 of stock option, right to buy. On November 11, 2022, Waldern Jonathan made an inside buy of 904,826 of stock option, right to buy. On October 25, 2022, Welch Thomas Gordon made an inside sell of 500,000 of exchangeable shares. On October 25, 2022, Welch Thomas Gordon made an inside buy of 500,000 of common stock. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive at a ratio of 8.996. In total, the insiders bought 19,604,686 and sold 16,676,017 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is $1.72, minus 5.86%. This stock has very high daily movements and this gives very high risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found two days ago. Is Meta Materials stock a buy? Meta Materials hold several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Friday 25th we expect Meta Materials to open up $0.0374 and start trading at $1.87. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to